Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Scott Robertson, and today I'm going to walk you through the Ocean Alexander 27R. The boat that we're on today has a very different fly bridge. We call it the New Generation Bridge. The New Generation Bridge is an abbreviated Sky Lounge bridge. So what we've done is, is we have more outdoor space, but the interior space is still a nice size. As you can see, the couch I'm sitting in here with a large table. But we also have, just forward of that in this area, is your helm. To your left here is the octoplex screen, which is your management for all your power throughout the boat. So as you can tell, you hit the AC button, you can control any of the ACs that are on throughout the boat. Um, if the owners are coming on board and you want to turn lights on ahead of time, you could control all of this from here. There's also a second station of this down in the uh, cruise quarters. This, this here is your chart plotter, which um, again can have radar overlay, and these screens can be swapped back and forth. In addition to this helm, we've got a bow and stern thrusters, which are all hydraulic. This boat does have dual anchors as well, and these are your chain counters, so you can see how far you're dropping the chain down. This is your zero speed stabilizer gauge. So this boat's equipped with zero speed stabilizers, so you've got stabilization at rest, and you also have stabilization through your entire power range. And then this is equipped with uh, twin man 1650s, and these are your man gauges here. So you can uh, watch your fuel burn, you can see your RPM from there and all that as well. And then we've equipped the boat with two Garmin VHFs as well, right here. So, and this is your spotlight. But one of the cool features of this area is actually where the captain sits and maybe the owner as they're running. But uh, you can see the diamond stitching in this, you can see how the OA emblem's in the seat. These, these captain chairs also are electric, they go up and down and back and forth. But as you open up the step to get up on here, you'll see the teak inlay with the Ocean Alexander symbol. Just the attention to detail in these areas are so important. The 27R, this particular home number, has four staterooms. So it has an on-deck master as well as three rooms downstairs, but also is equipped with a gym. So let's take a look in the master. As you walk into this full beam on-deck master, you're going to first notice a huge window here just above the bed. So this brings in a lot of natural light and then we also have nice windows on the port and starboard sides as well. The Novus Mist is the wood color of this boat so it's our lighter color and you can see the attention between going high gloss and then how the doors here are a matte finish. But you've got a king size bed here and then all these blinds in this room are also electric. So you hit a touch of a button and all of this go electrically goes down. We also have equipped this particular boat with an audio video system called Control 4, which it gives a, a iPads for all of the rooms throughout the boat. So they can listen to any of the music they want to. They got Apple TV in each of the rooms. It just really is a nice system to go through the whole boat. As you make your way into the master head, you're going to notice you got dual sinks here. You've got a really large window, but you also have an electric blind in here as well. But here's your mirror for the um, bathroom here. But what's nice is they actually made this an electric uh, mirror. So when you are not using it, you can leave it in the down position. But when you are using it, you can lift it up high. And uh, when you're all done, lower it down and utilize that window. So let's see here full shower, rain shower, walk in, got jets in there as well, but again, a lot of room. Look how high that goes. Very nice. So um, one area that's real nice in here that you need to take a look at and show you here is the um, master closet. As you make your way to the starboard side, this is a full walk-in closet in the master with six drawers and plenty of hanging room. And as you make, work your way outside of that walk-in closet, there is a secondary closet here as well with two drawers. So what we're going to do now is we're going to work our way down to the lower companionway where there's three more staterooms plus a gym. So as you make your way down into the lower companion way, we have three staterooms down here again, plus the gym. But we've done 
a really nice full beam stateroom here instead of having two that you could do we made it into one so you got another master pretty much uh, king size bed you have dual closets on both sides big walk-in closets so you have a vanity on your port side and then you have seating over here a couch on your starboard side the main VIP head that's on this boat is a full beam, and so you have a his and her side, but in between is a shower. So I'm walking from the port side now, and now I'm inside the shower, and then we're going to end up over here on the starboard side. So they're identical bathrooms, two heads, toilets, and then a shower in between. Full rain shower, your jets, it's just the detail of this is just very very nice so as we make our way out of the aft stateroom which is in this boat could be called as a second master stateroom we walk into the foyer here i just want you to see the stonework here that we put on the wall this is something for attention to detail that ocean alexander has done just to complement this area but if you look at the shelf here and you look at the veins and you see how the veins actually flow straight into this piece of stone as well that's attention to detail right there for sure so as we move forward here, we're going to go all the way forward. And this is your bow VIP stateroom. You're going to have a full walk around bed. You're going to have a walk-in closet. You have natural light hull side windows. And then a full in suite shower and bathroom. So just aft of this room, on the starboard side, is going to be our fourth stateroom. This stateroom here is set up as two singles, natural lighting, huge window here, closet, and then of course you still have your in-suite bathroom, full walk-in shower. So as we make our way across the lower companionway, we have equipped this boat with a gym. So this area here is a fifth room on the boat that we've designated as a gym. So free weights, Peloton, but also as you make your way into this utility room, we got an additional freezer, refrigerator, and the washer and dryer for the lower four state rooms. As we make our way into the dining room in the salon area, this is a custom table made by Ocean Alexander really cool texture to really match the interior and the accents throughout the boat you even see the stainless accenting they've done there as well but uh, we've uh, this is the four stateroom yacht so um, in this particular setup we've got this table set for eight and uh, eight very nice custom back velvet type chairs all trimmed in leather this is a uh, a very custom piece that we have here so um, just Aft of this area, you're going to have your salon. And in your salon, we have this custom sofa that was designed. Um, it's uh, L-shaped, so it's easy for you to uh, watch the TV that drops from the ceiling here. The TV will actually drop down into this area and uh, makes it nice for all the guests that are there. On your starboard side, we have a full bar. So this lifts up here. You've got a full sink here. The sink can also be utilized to put ice in and have additional drinks and that kind. Um, and then we also have an ice maker and refrigerator inside this cabinet. Again, this wood that you're seeing is all of our Novus color of the boat. Again, you got the, re the iPad here for the Control 4 audio system, and this, uh, this, this will control all of your um, audio that you have throughout the whole boat. So now we're looking for the galley. So where is it? We, first, we're going to pass this area here where you can really put some nice artwork, and then you have some indirect lighting that's around it. But as we look for the galley, 
This looks like a, a wall, but this is a hidden door that opens up into your galley. Again, this is a chef's dream in here. You've got a really nice stove. You've got a convection microwave. You've got an induction cooktop. We got a Fisher, the cow, refrigerator and freezer with an ice maker. But great counter space all the way around. Dual sinks in the corner. Very, very smart how they work that out. We've got an ice maker. But what's really nice is right behind you as you come in this inside. So this door here, what's really nice in the galley is one, you've got a window so you can see if someone's coming in from one side or the other, but we can actually bring all the provisions in for the chef. So this door opens up and you can walk right out and walk around the side decks to the back. As we leave the galley door that we just showed you, it allows the provisions to come around the side. Here's actually the crew quarters door. And access right through here. And then we go down these stairs. As you make your way into the cruise quarters of the 27R, the first thing you do come across is the access to the captain's quarters. So nice size bed, great storage behind the bed, and then you have drawers underneath. Across from that is their little galley set up with a microwave. You've got a two burner stove and a refrigerator here with a sink. We do have a bunk room that's across the way here. So you can have three crew or with a husband wife, you can have four. And then also their head is over here. And then a nice little sitting area here with a table that folds out. And then they also have their washer and dryer down here, which is the second set on the boat and then a television. Let's make our way into the engine room of the 27R. We have twin man 1650 engines. We also have two generators, which are Kohler 32 kW. This entire engine room is air conditioned. It also has the Delta T fans that bring the air in and suck the air out. Sight gauges for your fuel level. And we do have walk arounds, which are real nice around the motors. So you can get all the way around. They've got places for you to stand, which is really nice. So as you can get around, you can service fuel filters, you can get to strainers. This is an air conditioned engine room as well. So it keeps it cool. We also have a camera here and we also have a secondary camera so you can have all angles of this engine room from the helm. As we make our way out of the cruise quarters and engine room, we come on to the aft deck here. So the aft deck is going to be a raised table with stainless pedestals and a C-shaped type seating here. You'll notice the tray ceiling, the attention to detail, has lighting, indirect lighting throughout, and then two LED lights in the middle. Behind us is a beach club, so you'll kind of notice that we're away from the dock a little bit more here. So it adds privacy for the owners. We've got a full bar here with a sink, and then we do have a refrigerator. So we haven't concentrated on any of these, but this is a capstan to bring the lines in on a heavy, on a high wind day. So what you do is you would wrap your line around that if your boat is actually being pushed off the dock, and then you would, you would step on this button right here with your foot, and it would wrap the, the line around that and bring the boat into the dock. So these are capstans, and there's one on the port side, and there's one on the starboard side as well. So as we make our way down to the swim platform area, we're also going to talk about the beach club. This is a hydraulic swim platform back here. This will drop down in the water and act as a beach. You have stairs that actually allow you to walk down to it from this platform here. But also, 
you have the ability to put two spark jet skis on here as well. The other nice part is we have stainless poles that would go into these inserts here on the port and starboard side of the swim platform and then they connect to the brow area of the flybridge hardtop and that would give you a tremendous amount of shade back here. But as you move forward, this is our beach club. This is air conditioned. We've got a TV in here. We've got a refrigerator that also has an ice maker. So when those days when you're anchored out and you're just enjoying the back of the boat, you can sit inside air conditioning if you like. You can close these doors and keep it cooler in here. But this becomes a really fun, accessible area and all your water toy sports can be out back here. So as we move our way from the aft deck, we're gonna go up to the bow now. As you make your way, you're gonna be able to see that these railings are a nice height. But one thing Ocean Alexander does is a lot of yacht brands do a completely round. These are elliptical because when your hands on them, you can really hold on. So if you're going through some heavy seas or you want to hold on for just security, this really gives you the ability to do that. We are in the bow of the 27R Ocean Alexander. This area provides two areas for seating. This area up here, you can hang out, sit, sun pad, lay out, whatever you want to do. This is an enjoyable area, big, huge entertaining space. You've got cup holders on both sides. You've got indirect lighting. And then as you make your way forward, you're going to have a lower area with a U-shaped style seating with a table in the middle. You got JL Audio speakers for up here for music. You got great cup holders on both sides of the seating. Twin stainless legs to support this nice table. But again, you still have plenty of room up here where you can bring a few chairs. But what's nice is when you are sitting here, you are lower and you can kind of see you're right in line with this. It's gonna block the wind and give the owners and guests some privacy. We're gonna end the tour of this 27R on the flybridge. This flybridge is a new generation bridge by Ocean Alexander. Typically, you'll see these sky lounge areas stop about right here. What we've done with this is new generation bridges. We've allowed more outdoor space. We started our tour inside, but here we have a huge bar over on your starboard side. Three nice cha chairs here. Sink. Refrigeration. Ice maker. Raised area for your drinks. And then this U-shaped seating here as well. But look at this table, the size of it. I mean, it's massive. This can, you know, this, this boat's designed with four staterooms, eight people. You can seriously put all eight people around this. So as you make your way back here, we do have a grill for cooking out. But if you're someone that really enjoys outdoor space on something of a 27 meter in size, this is a perfect boat for you because with this new generation bridge, we have given you more outdoor space. You still will have the awning that will hook up to the brow of the hardtop, and you have inserts here and on the other side, as well as the corners, where you'll have stainless poles that this will hook up to and give you coverage. As you make your way all the way to the back here, you've got a four-person hot tub, but you also have sunbathing on both sides of the hot tub. Now, one of the cool features that I like, just the attention to detail, Ocean Alexander, is look at the teak layout. You're not going to see this in a lot of different yachts because typically the teak's just going to all run the same direction. This, they've actually put some creativity and some imagination into it. Looks really nice. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for taking the time today to walk through the 27R Ocean Alexander with me. Again, my name is Scott Robertson, and I look forward to walking you through the next yacht.